Well, she's the woman who needs no introduction. She elevated women's college basketball, brought home eight NCAA championships to East Tennessee, and expected greatness from everyone she met. She is the ultimate Lady Vol. She is Pat Summit. And today, she would have turned 71 years old. Today, 10 News reporter Maria Guzman is remembering her legacy. You can't be afraid to go out and compete and do whatever it takes. You knew her from her fiery eyes and sharp game face. It was a, a tornado of a human being. Pat Summit. She built University of Tennessee women's basketball from the ground up at only 22 years old, just a couple of years older than her players. But playing for Pat was not easy. For Pat, it was her classroom. Her career as head coach brought Tennessee eight NCAA championships and 32 Southeastern Conference title and earned Pat the Presidential Medal of Freedom. For Pat, her achievements were her players. She took pride in making them find their own greatness. I wanted to make sure um, that her players and anyone she came in touch with really, they were able to reach their full potential. Um, she saw things in people that they didn't yet see in themselves. Um, and she really pushed you to unlock that. She carried the title as head coach for the Lady Vols for 38 consecutive years. But the name she was the proudest of only had three letters, mom. Mom was her favorite. That was, she said her greatest achievement was her son, Tyler. Pat's fight in the court brought her more than a thousand career wins. Her ultimate fight was not in the court. It was with a health condition, no way of stopping. Early onset dementia. There was a sadness that enveloped this program like a heavy, heavy fog. And that team that played that last season will have my forever admiration because they still had to play. That game was real life for them at that point. Messages of support for her battles appeared overnight. Shirts reading, we back Pat, flooded arenas. Shortly after her diagnosis, the Pat Foundation was born. She said, I always thought that I would be remembered for winning ball games, and I hope that I am but I also hope that I can be remembered for making a difference in this disease. Today, her foundation continues her mission. They work to advance research for treatment and one day find a cure. Pat didn't expect you to be mediocre. Pat expected you to be great. Her story is one of a hero. She's the name and story East Tennessee will never forget. One of the greatest to ever walk through Knoxville and whose presence still remains. For WBIR, I'm Maria Guzman. Quick mention, in case you didn't know this, one of my favorite memories from interviewing Pat Summit long ago was that she was a coach for the Olympics. And did you know that coaches do not actually get Olympic medals if they win them? But someone had made her a medal so that she could have that as a memory, and I got to see it. Wonderful, wonderful woman. Great to see that piece.